So now I'm demonstrating a common habit that I see beginning painting students do. And that is they start out filling in an area, in this case, filling in the background, and they start filling in a big area of the painting. And then they come up to something and they get distracted by how complicated it is. And they start working on something else. So essentially, I sort of changed my thinking as I was painting to think about the way um, a student would paint. And what I think that is happening is that students are often zooming in their eyes and just staring at one part of the painting at a time. So they're like, okay, I'm going to mix up the background color. They start filling in the background, but they're only looking at exactly where their brush is painting. So they hit the ellipse. The ellipse is a little difficult. So then they spend some time drawing the ellipse with the paintbrush. Then they say, oh, okay, I'm going to go back to painting the background because that's what I was going to do. So they just start filling in the background, filling in the background, filling in the background. This is sort of a kind of tunnel vision where you're just looking at just the area of the painting that you're painting on without scanning your eyes constantly over the whole surface. This is a really difficult way to work because what it does is it makes you increase the value and increase certain colors that get more intense when you stare at them or darker when you stare at them or lighter when you stare at them. Whenever you stare at a small area, your brain, which is a good device for helping you see things in low light, your brain will actually see higher contrast than if you're looking at the whole picture. So you can see I'm putting in that background cloth and as I'm staring at each area, I can see the contrast of the difference between the parts of the drapery that is catching light and the parts of the drapery that is not catching light. And I'm comparing those two edges by staring at one part. What I'm not noticing is how this all fits into the entire context of the painting. You really don't want big, bold stripes of high contrast in the background that are going to jump forward and distract from the subject of your painting. You want things in the back to recede and you want things in the front to come forward. 